Look at my shorts TV. The Short Film Show. Welcome to Look at My Shorts TV. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Trista. The theme for these shorts is Someone's Gonna Die. In each film, someone will croak, get snuffed. <sighs> Somehow, some way, in each movie, someone's fictional life will end. In this episode, we're going to be seeing short films from John Whitney, Scott Spears, Peter John Ross, Derek Rimmelspaw, and Ryan Lewis. This is John Whitney's Solve for X. There's nothing wrong with your TV. It was shot in black and white, 35 millimeter film. Good morning, I'm Angela Young. This year alone, there were almost one million reports of domestic violence in the United States. But the shocking statistic is that only 10% of these cases are ever put to trial. The victims, more times than not, drop the charges. Reporter John Martin from member affiliate WKTZ Pittsburgh brings us a story from a neighborhood that is no stranger to domestic violence and visits from the police. Last night, this neighborhood bared witness to the cruel reality of domestic violence. We asked city policeman Bob Jones what happened. When we arrived at the scene, the victim had obviously been through a lot, and we were about to place the husband under arrest when the wife insisted that nothing had been going on. How many times have you been called here? Uh, about uh, 13 times in the last three months. Organizations like the National Coalition Against... <laughs> You're fashionably early as usual. And never a word, as always. Well, look, here's the deal. You go to the Longview Barbershop, you pick up the package, and you don't make a mess.
I was just about to give up on you. Would you like some coffee? A friend said you were quiet. I, uh, have no money. That's where he'll be at one o'clock today. He won't be late. He's never late. You have about an hour. Listen, when you kill him, I want you to remember the look on his face. I want you to describe to me the look on his face in detail. I want you to empty your gun on that no good son of a bitch. I've got the money. Listen, I, I'm sorry, it was the only way I could think of. I just want you to know that he did beat me. Did he look surprised? He looked dead. Accidental Art is from Peter John Ross and Sunny Boo Productions. Let's take a look. like it was getting really hot on the roof. Thought you could use a break. Nice uh, cake. It's my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Artie didn't even remember my birthday. I remembered. And I got you this. It's really thoughtful. Yeah, well, you know, you said you've been painting and you were having some trouble, so I got you a brush. Uh, thanks. This is it's great. So, 
do you have any of those paintings around? Because I'd kind of like to see some of your work, you know what I mean? I do. Yeah? They're upstairs in my bedroom. Uh, I can show you if you want. Yeah. You know, last time we didn't even make it upstairs. <laughs> Thank you. You're listening to Mark Mal. I know. I know. Uh, I need something. Hey, have, uh, have you seen my belt? Isn't it still on your pants? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, I don't have to be at my next job until uh, 5 p.m., so if you want to take another ride on the J train, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You're insatiable. No, I'm not. I got tested for that. Uh, Ms. Rogers? Yeah? What exactly does your husband look like? About 5'10", black hair, brown eyes, kind of a, a watermelon head. Why do you want to know about Artie? I was just wondering if he's standing right in front of me. <sighs> Happy birthday. So, so was that your husband? Oh no. No, no, oh, no. Was it? Of course it was! Whoa, oh whoa, 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 whoa. How could you do this to me? Artie, what are you doing? After all that I've done for you, I, I can't believe this. Well, what did you expect? This is not a marriage. You're never here, you're always working. And then why do you think that is, huh? You wanted to quit your job so that you could do your art full time. You haven't painted anything in 10 months! And you want to know the worst part about all of this? What? I'm paying him for this! Don't play the victim to me, you love that job. I hate that job! We have a mortgage, two car payments, and I was doing it because someone had to pay the bills. I was doing it to keep us afloat, to make you happy so that you could try, I mean, really, try to paint. Really? Yes. I do it all for you. I love you. film project. Glorious is an award-winning movie from Ryan Lewis of Cincinnati. Adrian Monroe. Judge J.P. Honeysuckle. Are you ready? Of course, sir. Two days from now, you're going deep cover into the Zordakin cult. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Good. These people are nuts. I understand, sir. Loonies. Yes, sir. Bonkers. Yes, sir. Two tacos short of a combination platter. Yeah, JP, they're nuts. I understand. I got it. I'm ready, sir. Godspeed. Thank you, sir. So, John, when did you realize that you too were a Zordacon? Uh, two weeks. Um, about two weeks ago. Really? And are you ready for the great planetary triathosphere? Uh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. 
When will you be joining us at the Garden of Enlightenment? This afternoon. Glorious. Some people call me Maurice. I think okay. it's super fantabulous that you're here. Well, I think it's pretty nice being here also. Are you as excited about the great planetary triathosphere as I am? Oh yeah, it's the great... Uh, Father it's... Zord will appear when the planets have aligned. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, My excuse no, me. It's... Look at this vile planet. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The Great Jordakana has ordered that the universe be cleansed. When the planets align and the mystic portal reopens, the Great Jordakana will return us to our homeland and destroy this wretched place. Right, 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 great. When's all this supposed to happen? It will be but three quattro hexanites hence. Hexanite, yeah. On that night, Father Zord will create thy energy orb. Oh, which is great, great. Oh, wait, 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 great. Father Zord. It's a hell of a guy. What's supposed to happen in three quattro hexanites? <laughs> this trophy was awarded to me by the great Zordakana for meritorious service in defense of our great secret. Our only weakness. The only thing that can stop our plan. Pencil erasers. Pencil erasers. The little pink ones. Why one pencil eraser can destroy a thousand strong muffins. Imagine it's something so cheap, so common, so trivial. And the secret must be de- GP, it's Monroe. Get me the hell out of here! I don't know, these people are nuts! Bonkers! Loonies! Praying the brand muffins? Running marathons in robes? A beautiful one tried to bite my face! No more chicken chip assignments! Get me out of here now! GP! GP! Welcome, my children. Glorious! Glorious indeed. Glorious! Yes, yes, glorious. Enough. Father Zord? Right? Yeah? How you doing? It's good to see you. It's a... Who will step into the energy orb first? I wish to see the great Zordakana. Very well. You, come forth. You. Whoa, 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 this, uh, <laughs> this is real. You people are real. Of course we're real. You are not a Zordacon. Man, they're gonna take over the world, but I got it. I know the only thing that can stop them. It's Scott's 
Spears reunion was made as a part of a class teaching students about filmmaking at Appalachian State University. What the hell are we doing here? David. Hey. What's going on in your head? It's time I dealt with this. <laughs> Jesus. This is old history. You need to let go. I can't. This guy made my life a living hell for four years. I remember. But like I said, that was high school. You've gone to college, gotten a degree, got married, have kids? You've got a great life, man. This guy, he still lives in the same dump his parents lived in. He's a loser. Forget him. I can't forget him, Mike. David. Man, he's not going to say he's sorry. It's just not going to happen. I have to go in. What am I going to do? If I'm, if I'm not back in 10 minutes, uh, call the police. Do it. You'd be doing me a favor.
What happened? Nothing. 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 Here's a really short one called The Caregiver from Derek Rimmel Spa. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Look at My Shorts TV.